Hey YouTube! Today I'll be reviewing the Invicta 8930. So this is an Invicta watch. A Rolex Mariner homage. As you can see, the sub, the Submariner homage with a little cyclop here, the pearl, and of course, it's an automatic with the NH35A Seiko movement. <clears throat> gold painted in 18 karat gold, I think. This model it's a 2011 model. It's is the case diameter is 40 millimeters. The case thickness is 14. All in stainless steel. The braced ear is 20 millimeters. See if if you wanted to put on uh, another strap, it's really nice. It's the same thing as the 8926 OB, and the only thing is that it's gold and bl with the blue bezel and blue dial. I really like the bezel, like it's a nice light blue. The dial it's it's a dark blue but in the sun it's look like a purple purplish blue so some people don't like it because it's like a little bit purple but I don't mind. A hundred and twenty click rotating bezel unidirectional It's well aligned to the 12 o'clock marker. It's a screw down crown here, so you pull it, it works very well. And of course, you can manual wind it so. It's kind of be useful. As you can see here, the movement NH35A from Seiko. 24 jewels. So a nice case, case back. Okay. <clears throat> so it come in diet box, a white box. I bought it from Amazon for forty dollar, a nice deal. Evicta eighty nine thirty OB with the casual yellow box here. So it comes with with this and Victa instruction manual. Don't really use it. I don't really need it. And Victa service center. I don't. I know. Uh, and Victa service is shit. So I don't think I'll use it. Anyway, at the price I bought it, it's. I don't really care. Platinum plan extend. Yeah, I can put this uh, in the garbage, I guess. See?
Anyways, I, I won't use that shit. So it come in that box. It come in with that pillow. Very cheap. Very cheap. Made. Yeah, so that's it. So this is the 8930. I'm thinking about taking off the Cyclops because I not sure if I like it though. I did it to my 8926. Look well. Yeah, so I brushed that bracelet. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. The loom is shit, but like all Invictus watches are shit, so. But it's, it's a pretty good watch, I really like it, got a lot of compliment. And the gold, well, it stands good. Like, I got peeled gold here, but I mean, I have a MacBook Pro, so I always scratch on the aluminum. But uh, yeah, that's it. Nice watch. Okay, so thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy it. If you have any question, just write it below, and uh, I'll be back to you, guys. Thank you.